Why does time go by so fast? Entering my 20s, I started to have all these unanswered questions for myself. Is this the right path for me? What if I fail? What if I'm not good enough? What if this? What if that? I know it's supposed to be a decade of exploration and there's so many things that I want to try, yet I feel like it's too late for me. Funny, right? I'm always stuck in my head thinking about the future and not the present. <laughs> Good morning guys, I'm currently on an out of town trip with my family. It's morning right now, so I am going to whisper while I get ready for the day. It's almost summer break for me and I've just been so busy with my final projects. I feel like people tend to underestimate how much work goes into being a fashion design major or really any major with hands-on work like architecture because again, it's like hands-on and you really have to manage your time wisely because it does add up. Like you can't procrastinate on certain projects or else you will be behind and you won't get it due on time. My leg, is, I think it's falling asleep because I'm like crisscross applesauce. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm stretching my leg. Ow. into my docks i was wearing my flats i can drive with any shoe and even heels but i feel like docks because they're so heavy that's not safe for my pedal or at least for me i also put a seatbelt on my bag because sometimes i break a little too hard and then my stuff falls how's your shirt going good because I know you said you... Oh yeah, but not to be honest, that doesn't really matter. So did you change the size of your dress? Because yes. of it? Or I mean... Yeah. Size of your dress. Small. I still hope for a better future, even with all these doubts in my mind. The best that I can do for myself is to keep going. I can only accept the me now. It may feel like nothing is happening, especially in moments when I don't want to get out of bed and force myself up. That's still me trying. Our small actions make a big difference, even if we don't see it. Instead of looking at doubt in a bad way, I want to see it as a feeling of wanting to be better for myself, to encourage me to ask questions and explore different perspectives. In this mindset, it prevents you from accepting things as it is and pushes you to dig deeper and really ask yourself what you want in life. I recently bought last minute rice tickets and the concert is next Monday and I have a final next Monday. Luckily, I was able to email my teacher beforehand asking if I can take the exam today and I did. So technically, I am done with my pattern making class, which was one of my most stressful classes this semester. My classmate finally reached out to me today. She texted me saying that she's on campus, and I told her I already left. Because I was going early with everything in my exams and my projects, and she asked when she could get her time to me. And I told her that I won't be here next Monday, I was going to be on campus on Thursday. I only have a day and a half to finish the dress, while everybody else had three weeks. And I explained to her that I can't finish it in a short amount of time. I have other projects that I need to work on. This is why I hate group projects or partner projects, because sometimes it just doesn't work out and what can you do because your grade also depends on it that's the real world as the professors tell you paul and i are supposed to meet at a cafe at 10 and it's 9:52. Oh, <laughs> 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 
stayed up watching the first three episodes of the new season of Bridgerton, so I didn't have that much sleep. <laughs> And I hate that I have to wait another month for part two. Like the last two seasons, they released like all eight episodes. So far, the first three episodes were really good, but I feel like it's just getting there. Like it's building up, you know? I say all these cheesy motivational lines and you may assume that I actually listen to my own advice, but that's not always the case. Aside from fashion, there's this hobby I've been meaning to try. Five years to be exact. I've been thinking about it for so long, yet I haven't taken action. It goes way beyond my comfort zone, and I don't know if I'll succeed or find it embarrassing in the end. Sadly, I don't know when I'll take action on this dream of mine or if it'll forever be a dream. Again, I often get consumed by doubt because the obvious answer is that I shouldn't be waiting for the right moment when that moment can be now. And I guess it's an obstacle that I have to face and see where it takes me if and when I decide to do it, of course. I know I have these big dreams and aspirations for myself and I want to believe they'll come true eventually. So while I wait, I want to be in the present more and find happiness in what's already in front of me and to find happiness in things I haven't experienced yet to go for it no matter what the results may be. Thank you for reaching the end of this video. I decided to share my thoughts throughout the month of May. They're pretty all over the place as life can be at times. I just hope it brings anyone comfort who also has any unanswered questions for themselves to keep going. Like I said, our small actions make a big difference even if we don't see it. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.